Capital Markets Authority has approved the issue of your shares. Uh, 20 to 1 is the ratio. What's behind this uh, issue of what you call bonus shares? Well, basically, we decided um, as a company that this year um, a bonus share issue to our shareholders will be the best way to go. Um, we're happy to, to give that out because we believe this, that's what's best in the best interest of the company right now um, and moving forward um, based on the economic situation within the country. Chris, you, you, uh, last year you uh, moved back into profit with a profit of 130 million shillings odd from a loss before that, yet in the early part of the decade, you had huge growth. You were formed in 2000. You had a growth of 200% in each of your first three years, then growth of, of 100%. What went wrong to put you into that uh, loss? Well, nothing quite went wrong. I would say a couple of um, factors changed within the market and within the company, and it was we needed to make some corrections. Um, right from our, some of our business uh, model or the focus in terms of segments of the market that we were looking at. So we took a big hit on our IT business um, within that year where we had high turnover of uh, hardware sales but very little profitability and so we had to change that whole business. Uh, we had to also refocus in terms of where we were spending our capex and we had to make our operations much more efficient. And so we did all of that, and that's what moved us from a negative 9 million to profitability of 130 million. So now the, the share issue, this, must, this is a, a dilution for existing shareholders? No, not at all. This is a bonus uh, issue which will help existing shareholders be able to get value from the company as opposed to us uh, paying out uh, cash at this point in time. Okay, so it's a, it's a, a dividend by another name. It's another way of uh, giving a share it's in the company, increasing the worth. You're a dominant, exactly. dominant player in Kenya. Um, a big player like yourselves, if you're providing the services that people want, we've seen it in South Africa as well, competition is essential. Are you pushed by your competitors? Well, no, not, not, not at all. What is happening in the last two years is that there's been a better segmentation of the data market. We, like you have rightfully said, are a dominant player within the corporate segment of the data market. Um, competition is helping us shape these segments better, but by and large, we believe that um, we are doing the right thing. We're giving the clients what it is they want to see and what it is they want to feel in terms of our services, and we are all moving forward as an industry towards a place where people will be able to get great services from the market it is a highly and ourselves it, as a key player it is a highly technical field on the other hand uh, for the consumer it can be very simple they have certain services you have for example a traffic camera service uh, you, you operate across a range of services to computers uh, to consumers rather what are the issues that keep you awake at night what are the obstacles to you being a better business well, the things that keep me awake at night is basically the confusion that we are a mass market or a retail player. Um, we sometimes struggle to confirm or rather assert our market position that we're a corporate player and we're focused mostly on business to business transactions as opposed to okay. trying to go for the mass market. And so a lot of people will compare us, for example, with Safaricom who is really, uh, to a large extent, a mass market player. Um, so that positioning, or rather that perception of our positioning as a mass market player. Um, the second thing is obviously if there were any adverse political or regulatory changes within the market that could affect our business. But by and large, we're comfortable and confident that moving forward between the short to medium term, our business is a growth business. The market is growing. Our products are the right products at the right competitive prices for us to garner a very big share of the corporate market. And that will be seen in our results moving forward, just like we were a massive growth company right from year one to year 10. Chris, often with uh, technical, technically orientated companies, the, the advances in the technology and the products get ahead of the regulators, and the regulators then try and catch up to regulate things they hadn't thought of 
to put in the laws or the regulations. Is your regulatory environment generally friendly to you? Yes, um, the regulatory environment is friendly to us, I think because of exactly what you've said, that most often than not, the regulator has to catch up with the technology or the innovation within the industry. And we have always stood out as one of those companies that has been at the cutting edge or the cusp of technological innovation. And um, so by and large, they, they do consult with us in order to make sure that the regulatory framework is to the advantage of the industry. And we believe that that's the way it's going to be moving forward for a very long time to come. That was uh, Chris Sinano, MD of Access Kenya.